Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a Ford Mustang Mach E. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford here in Draper, Utah, for giving me some time with this Mach E. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Scott. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So I guess this is where we'll go over the EV specs since there's no engine to look at because it's fully electric. We've got a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now this one's all wheel drive, so dual electric motor setup. We've got about 230 miles of electric driving range, 266 horsepower, and then 428 pound feet of torque. And then yeah, you probably noticed we've got this front trunk here, so a little bit more storage, add some practicality, and uh, see ya. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, taking a look at the hood, you guys can see really cool metallic white paint with this thing looks really sharp. And then really cool headlight design with the Mach-E. You can see the Mustang horse there in the center. Notice how everything's closed off on the front end so that it is more aerodynamically efficient. And overall, again, in white, looks pretty sharp. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 225, 55, 19 in the front and over in the rear. You can see with the wheels, we got the silver mixed with the blacked out elements and then really cool looking fender flares there. And notice that trim continues along the side. And then you've got your Mach E4 badge there to show that it's got all wheel drive. And then notice the mirror caps are actually blacked out too. And then here is the full side profile with the Mach E. Now, take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We've got this to open up the hatch, and then you guys can see the Mustang horse there on the back. Now, popping into the rear, we've got quite a bit of storage space in the rear, and more storage underneath as well. Got a 12 volt here on the side. Cargo cover built in from the factory, and then it is hydraulic, so you gotta lower it down yourself. We, of course, have the Mustang taillights here, and you can see the horse there in the center. Parking sensors at the bottom. And overall, I think the design on this is really cool. I know people get upset about the fact that Ford's calling this a Mustang, and fair enough, but, I mean, whatever you want to call it, it looks cool. I will never get used to these. So weird. Anyways, inside, it's actually soft touch here at the top and down below. Really nice stitching throughout. <laughs> I like the inside handle. That's actually pretty cool. And then look at these seats here. Got all that cool cross stitching that goes throughout. Legroom back here is really good. Got a little storage pocket, some vents here in the center, a little USB port down below as well. We also have a cup holder armrest. And then headroom, pretty good. And another weird door handle. Soft touch here at front and then more down below. All of our window controls here with our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then again, nice design here with the front seat. As you can see, power adjustable as well. Got all of our light controls here. That's pretty cool, that trim and then soft touch. Uh, and then, yeah, cool design across the dash in general. Now take a look at the steering wheel. Um, you guys can see soft touch all around. Got the Mustang horse there in the center. Practical controls like your volume controls, voice command controls, adaptive cruise control as well. See the stocks there on the back too. And then unlike a Tesla Model Y, we actually have a gauge cluster here, which is really nice. It shows us stuff like our current range, state of charge, all of that fun stuff. Uh, and so yeah, just a nice practical thing to have. Now this actually has a little bird's eye view there. You can see the back of camera down below. Um, but yeah, not a super big vehicle, so it doesn't really need 360, but it's always a nice feature to have. And then this infotainment system is another Ford's. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. So you've got like the vehicle tab right here, and this shows you everything. So. We've got our whisper mode, engage, unbridled, you do propulsion, propulsion sound, and then we also have the one pedal drive, uh, which will do the regen as you're driving, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, overall, I think they did a pretty good job with the functionality on this infotainment system. Not a fan of vertical tablets in general, um, but it's easy to access the climate controls, easy to use everything else. So I guess, you know, no major complaints, but it is also just gigantic here in the center. And then you can see down below again, more of that soft touch and stitching. We've got a traditional glove box here and then more storage in this center area. It's for the parking assist, your hazard lights, parking brake. And then you can see with the dial shifter there, pretty good storage inside, by the way, it's nice. And then I like the padding here on the armrest. That's pretty nice as well. So here's a one sticker for this Mach-E Select um, 108 equipment group. 
And this one also has Blue Cruise 90 day trial. Interesting. Anyways, 49,885 is the total MSRP on this. And let's get an exhaust clip. Just kidding, it's not that kind of Mustang. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do a blast spot ring throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off. Here's my little uh, rap lyric for the day. I drive a Mustang. Okay, it's a Mach-E. Please don't mock me. There you go. There's my, <laughs> there's my rap debut. <laughs> I could imagine, you know, maybe one day I'll make like a full song about the Mustang Mach-E and not uh, mocking me because yeah, it's <laughs> It's a meme now. It's a meme now with this thing being You know the fake the fake Mustang and I'm sure I'll get plenty of comments of people saying nope Don't call it a Mustang Let's just uh, let's just call it a Mach-E and look at them. Look 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 at those two Mustangs one in blue one in blue. Okay, I'm done <laughs> I am done so uh, Seat comfort right off the bat. It's it's good and the padding in these seats is nice. It is nice. And you know, just like every electric car, very smooth with the acceleration. I, and we're not obviously accelerating a massive amount, but just, you know, going through the parking lot, really smooth uh, with the modulation on the pedal. And this has the one pedal drive on. And so I don't have to do any of the braking myself, really. I'm just kind of coasting in and it stops for me. But yeah, when you, when you need to get up and moving a little bit, it's got that just instant punch. It's nice. Yeah, still didn't even have to use the brakes there. That's cool. Ooh! I mean, this thing's pretty, this thing's pretty powerful for what it is. It's pretty powerful. But I mean, this thing about electric cars is they don't need as much horsepower and torque as an ice car to feel right off the bat to feel fast. So obviously, once you're up and moving, that's where having higher power with an electric car is nice because they obviously kind of die off a bit. But not bad, not bad. The ride quality is comfortable too. This thing I do like about electric cars is they're pretty, pretty comfy over bumps and everything on road. And I think, I think a big part of that is just the weight of the car is all down low. So it kind of helps with the up and down motion of the vehicle. You don't have as much, it seems like. So it just makes the ride a bit more comfortable. And obviously that helps out with handling too. The car handles quite a bit better because that lower center of gravity. Oh look, there's two Broncos. Making, we're making people mad today. We're calling, we're calling Mockies Mustangs and we're calling Bronco Sports Broncos. And well, let's get up and move. Woo! <laughs> yeah, pretty quick, pretty dang quick. I'm getting smooth. It is smooth. It's a nice drive overall. So let us sum things up here with the Mustang Mockie. Please don't mock me. Um, I like this. I, you know, I said this from the start. I like what Ford did. They basically went and they looked at the Model Y and they made a better Model Y. That's what this is. And I know that Tesla people are going to argue with that, but ultimately this is just a more usable vehicle. Outside of the door handles, the door handles are a little bit funky. That's the one thing I will knock Ford for. But with that being said, Tesla's price decreases have been so enormous that it's just, yes, yeah, completely set up the whole EV industry here in the US. Um, and so th that's the thing is with the Teslas, you can get them for so cheap, but Ford's also, you know, reacted by decreasing the price here on the Mach-E quite substantially. Um, so, there is, so there is that. Uh, and so putting it all together, I don't know, I, I think that, again, outside of Tesla's charging network, you always got to mention that outside of, but I mean, Tesla's opening that up. So with Tesla's charging network being open up to, other brands, I don't see the point in getting, because, you know, at this point, something like this is objectively better than a Tesla in terms of how it drives. And yeah, I think the build, I mean, obviously build quality is way better as well. And is that going to, you know, convince the Tesla people to jump ship? No, they're too busy, 
too busy sniffing their own farts and sniffing their own greatness <laughs> to ever consider logic. Let me know what you guys think about the Mach-E.